So here is Wish. Context Logic. This finishes at $7.55 today. That is down 17.77%. Please, like the video. Please subscribe and catch me every weekday after market close on the Smarter Gambling Show. Okay, so here is SESN, Sesin Bio. This finishes at $2.11 today. That is down 57%. Earlier, the stock was trading at $6 at the peak. A lot of retail on stock twits was very excited about the stock because they requested their BLA application for their drug. The FDA was reviewing it. They were supposed to get an answer by next week. And everyone thought it was going through, like it was a sure thing. The middle of the day, the stock was doing really, really great, looking really strong. And then out of nowhere, it got halted. Uh, a news halt for like an hour. Everyone is just like, what's happening? What's happening? What's going on here? Everyone pretty much knew it either meant that the drug got approved or it got rejected. It was either going to the moon or going right in the dumpster. At first, it seemed like really positive sentiment. Everyone was like, yes, we're going to the moon. And then the news finally drops, drug gets rejected, and then it's full-on panic mode. Full-on panic bear raid mode. And when it unhalted, this thing literally went from $6 to $0.85. Cents. 85% drop in like one second. Literally. I could not believe it. And then since then, it got halted like five more times to finish out the day. You really couldn't even trade it. Uh, every time it got unhalted, it got halted again like five seconds later. But it has recovered pretty significantly from the low. So uh, from the low, it almost 2 x A lot of real apes bought at the low. They got in at like $1. And they made bank already. Really, really bad day for this stock. Terrible news. A lot of apes got burned on this one. Retail got crushed on this one. Very unfortunate. But you know, this is how this biotech stuff goes. This happens over and over and over again. And people keep falling for it. You know, not many biotech companies actually make it. One out of every 10 companies, I would say, actually makes it. The other 9 out of 10, we see this. All pump and dumps. So I, I don't have any support or resistance drawn here. We can do some quick analysis here. So the RSI is currently at 32. So that, that's not quite undervalued and oversold. But quickly approaching that, it actually was under 30 uh, earlier when this went under a dollar. But it has since recovered, so it's no longer oversold. Pretty much should be. And this did 126 million in volume today. Way above average. Biggest volume day ever for this stock. So this sell-off today was confirmed by the volume. So, not financial advice. But if you want to go long, now is probably the time to load the boat. This might come down a little bit more. But, you know, when something goes down 60%, that usually is a pretty good buying opportunity. And I don't know anything about the stock. You know, I haven't done my DD. But if you like the stock, this seems to be an amazing entry point. So if you want to go long, personally, I'd probably hold off for a few days and see how the price action goes. But you should be able to get this at a very excellent entry point. For $2 and less, I would say is a great entry price. Now, if you want to go short, I do not recommend that. The time to go short would have been earlier today. Now it's down 60%. You missed your chance. And while this still can pull back a little bit more... It's really not going to pull back too much. And at the same time, you have the threat of the apes buying this up, the institutions and the apes buying this up, and not necessarily squeezing the stock, but driving the price up pretty high pretty fast. So going short is kind of a high-risk, low-reward play here. I don't really see a point in doing that. Uh, it doesn't really make too much logical sense. So I, I don't think you should go short here. Very sorry to everyone who lost money in this one today. This is really, really disgusting. You know, typical Wall Street shenanigans going on. A lot of manipulation. So, hope it wasn't too bad for you guys. But you live and learn. And good luck to everyone currently in this stock. And to everyone looking to take a position. This is SESN, Sesson Bio. So, here is Wish. Context Logic. This finishes at $7.55 today. That is down 17.77%. <laughs> so, we had earnings on this. So let's take a look at that. Yeah, Oppenheimer downgraded the stock, removes $23 price target. Bank of America downgrades, has a price target of $6. Uh, Loop Capital adjusts price target to $15, but they have a buy rating on that. 
Credit Suisse adjust price target to $19. So a lot of price adjustments here. They all went down. So that's not good. Okay, so they reported quarterly sales of $656 million, which missed the consensus estimate of $723 million. So they missed on revenue. Not quite sure what the EPS was, but overall, very bad earnings for this company. Major disappointment. So in turn, the stock dumps off. In the pre-market, this went as low as $650 and has since recovered to $750, but major sell-off in this stock. So we do have a gap down from 950 so that is a bullish indicator that is telling us that this is likely to come back up to 950 eventually to fill the gap might be pretty soon who knows hopefully so let's analyze this so right now this is sitting on the support of 760 so if this goes to the upside next level of resistance would be 840 920 1010 1120 12 1290 1350, 1420, 1550, 1650, 1750, 1850, 1990, 21, 2240, 23, 2385, 2480, 2560, 2650, 2820, 29, 30, and then the all time high, 3285. And if this goes to the downside, next level of support is the low of 670 and if it breaks 670 that is going to be really really bad then uh, it'll set an all-time low and nobody knows how far this can free fall so hopefully this doesn't go below 670 so right now to the upside these channels are pretty decently sized so expect a good amount of price action but nothing too crazy if this goes to the upside however to the downside as i just mentioned if this breaks 670 this can go way, way down. RSI is currently at 31. Not an oversold, undervalued territory, but quickly approaching that. And this did 220 million in volume today. Very significant volume day. So this dump today was confirmed by the volume. So if you want to go long, I support that. Honestly, this may have some more downside to go, but I think at 750. This is a great price. You know, it's never been this low before. This is the bottom, literally. And this may continue to go to the downside. Maybe you might want to hold off a bit and see if you can get this at an even better price. But at 750, this is a steal, in my personal opinion. RSI is showing this is pretty much undervalued and oversold. And we have the gap down at 950. So we got a few bullish indicators here and really no bearish indicators. My suggestion would be to... Take this current price, and if it continues to drop, then continue to average down. Or you can just wait and see if you can get this at a better price than 750. But at 750, this is a great price. So I support going long. Now, if you want to go short, I don't think that's a good idea. I don't recommend that for the same reasons I just mentioned. Low RSI, gap down at 950, bullish indicators. This is literally the bottom. Probably not a smart idea to short the bottom. Really not too much money to be made. This would be... A pretty high risk, low reward play here, in my opinion. This has a lot of upside potential, not too much downside potential. So uh, I don't think the risk is worth the reward. I don't think it's a good idea to short this right now. So uh, I, I wouldn't do that, and I don't recommend that. So sorry to everyone who lost money in this one today, but this is a great buying opportunity. This is more than just a meme stock. This is a legitimate company here. So just hang in there, guys. And good luck to everyone currently in this stock and to everyone looking to take a position. This is Wish Context Logic. So here is SoFi, SoFi Technologies. This finishes at $15 today. That is down 14.15%. So we had earnings. So let's take a look at that. EPS, uh, they lost 48 cents per share. Net sales were 980 million. And the estimate was 982 million. So they missed on that. So, yeah, they missed on EPS and they missed on revenue. So, pretty bad earnings for SoFi. Really disappointing because a lot of apes really thought this was going to moon. You saw a lot of YOLOs on Wall Street bets. Uh, they went really, really bad. Terrible earnings for SoFi. So, the stock tanks 14.15% today. So, we did have this possible cup and handle. That rejected. That failed. But now we do have this gap down at 17. 
So that's a bullish indicator that is telling us that this is likely to go back up to 17 at some point to fill the gap. Hopefully soon. So right now this is sitting on the support of $15, which it finished at today. So if this goes to the upside, next level of resistance would be 1550, 16, 1660, 1725, 1790, 1850, 19, 1970, 2050, 2125, 22, 23, 2380, 2430, 25, 26, and then the all time high, 2826. Now, if this goes to the downside, next level of support would be 14, 13, 12, 1140, 11, and then the low of 1010. So, if you want to go long right now, I support that. I think it's a good play. Pretty strong support at 15. It retested 15 a couple of times and has not been able to break that. So this may actually be the bottom. Maybe not. Maybe it still has a little bit more room to go. But at 15, I think that you really can't go wrong here. And if it does continue to go down, you can just average down. But yeah, you know, we got low RSI, gap down, and strong support. So a lot of bullish indicators here and really no bearish indicators. $15, in my personal opinion, seems like a great entry price. So I would support going long. Now, if you want to go short, I don't recommend that. I wouldn't do that. For the same reasons I just mentioned, uh, a lot of bullish indicators, low RSI, gap down, strong support at 15. This may pull back a little bit more, but this is already near the relative bottom. You wouldn't be making that much money, and you'll be betting against the apes, which really like the stock. So uh, I don't think the risk is worth the reward here. Um, this would be a high risk, low reward play going short here. Um, doesn't seem too smart. Doesn't seem too logical. So you'd be shorting for crumbs and putting yourself at risk of getting squeezed out. Not a good idea. I don't think it's a good play and I don't recommend that. Sorry to everyone who lost money in this one today. And good luck to everyone currently in this stock and to everyone looking to take a position. This is SoFi. Thanks everyone for watching today. I appreciate you guys. Please like the video. Please subscribe and catch me every weekday after market close on the Smarter Gambling Show. You apes already know. Diamond hands to the moon. I'm Ty. This is Smarter Gambling. See you guys on Monday. Have a great weekend, everybody. Peace out.